Hi everyone, Marnix here. And today we've got a bit of a different video. So normally, you know, it's the big set and we talk about high level concepts or latest progress on our game. Today, I just wanted to sit down, a bit more chill video, a bit shorter as well, to talk about the tool that we've been using at Bite Me Games for probably more than half a year at this point and that I'm personally very happy with its existence. And that is PressKit HTML. What is PressKit HTML? Well, if we jump over to my screen down here, you can see that this is the press kit for Forge Industry and Bite Me Games in general. And you know, it's simple, but it looks pretty good. You know, there's a good structure in it. Um, there's your description, your history, there's some information about the game, videos, images, and stuff like that. Basically, everything you need to get your game started once you're reaching out to, for example, actual press, as the name implies, that they can quickly look at, okay, what are some blurbs we can use? What is some good pictures that we can use, for example, in our articles? And really just make a journalist's life as easy as possible to write content about your game. And because that way you can get more marketing out for it and more people may hear about your game. Now, this is pretty nice, this website, However, I didn't develop it myself because if I had to write HTML code like this, well, there's a reason that I don't do that much programming. No, what we're doing instead is today I want to talk about PressKit HTML, um, which is an open source project here that you can see made by the studio PixelNest. Um, and they themselves have ported this from basically PressKit PHP which is an older implementation, but with the same visual style. However, it's a bit easier to use in my opinion, and you don't have to deal with PHP code. This is basically a static site generator for the people in IT who know what that is, but for a press kit. We use this ourselves. it works great. And in today's videos, as I said, I wanted to quickly go over how do you get started with it in just a few minutes and how can this benefit you. So to get started, there's one main binary application that we'll need to download and that is Node.js because we'll need the NPM package manager because that is how we can download it. So I already have Node.js installed, but it's very easy. You just download the installer for whatever operating system you're running, either it's Linux, it's Windows or it's Mac. And then once you have that installed, you can go over to your command line or terminal, whatever, and it's also documented here very easily on their GitHub, which is you install it by simply typing in npm install g press kit. Then it will take a few seconds to install the whole press kit application, and then we can continue with setting everything up. So now that we have it installed, let's make our own very first press kit. So I'm currently in my folder and we're going to just make a demo press kit for us in this case. So what we do is we make a directory, let's call it demo press kit in this case. We go over into that directory and what we do then is we type press kit because this is what we just installed through NPM and then new and you will see, oh, it automatically generates a new company template. Now, if we open that demo press kit folder, we can see that in our directory structure, we now have two files. We have a data.xml file and we have an images file. Now, this is for our company. So if we go back to our own um, press kit, Right now I'm looking at a product. If I go over back to Bite Me Games, this is the company press kit. And the way that that looks is we can open the data.xml file very easily and something like Visual Studio Code. This is all pre-populated and you can see that, oh, it actually is quite easy. What do you need to do? We see here, oh, our company block in between the two XML fields, we see the title. Here we can add Bite Me Games. And it basically says, what do we need to fill in? It's based in Belgium, of course. And then you can fill in more details like your website, your press contact, so that's your email address, for example, analytics, some phone stuff. And also you can talk about, okay, what is the actual games we've made? What is the history? And you can fill all of these things in. Now, if that's all you need, perfect. We don't actually need to do much more. What we can do now is we can go to press kit build back in our command line and it will automatically create a new folder named build. And in here we have our index.html file, which basically once we open, we get to see here developer by me games based in Belgium. All the other data of course is still empty because we never filled that in. However, if you just spend a few minutes to write all of that down, it will automatically get populated in here. You just have to, once you've saved your data.xml file, go back to your terminal and then press kit build again. Now, 
This is just for a company. We can actually make it for multiple projects as well. So what we do there is we create a new folder for our awesome game. So we create a new folder and then in our terminal, we navigate to our awesome game and we make press kit new dash T product. And now it has a new product template. So the difference with a product template and with a company template is maybe quite obvious. One will be focused more towards a game and has game specific details like your price and everything like that listed in it. Whereas the company one is more of a general who is the company behind this. We see our awesome game folder now has a product folder in it. We actually don't need to do this. We can move this directory up, get rid of awesome game, get rid of this folder, the original one, and just rename product to awesome game if we want. You can have multiple products if you want as well. So then we would just do the same. Here we would make another new product, another folder gets added and we'll replace this with awesome game two, whatever. Not the same. Again, we have two folders in here, images. I'll get back to that one and data.xml. This XML file, if we see, it's a bit different. We have our title here now. So it's awesome game one, which is awesome game. Release date is 2024. And we can add some stuff like linking um, to the platforms we'll be selling it on, the different prices we're selling it at, some features, some trailers, again, some common stuff and then what happens is if we now go back and we build our press kit so we go back to press kit build we'll spew out a bit more folders and if we go back to our build folder up here we now see that there's more projects awesome game and here we get the more information about the game we just added now of course there is one final thing i still want to share with you and that is of course how do you get pictures there's actually some pretty Good documentation of that on the github this is more also just to get you started with it there's full documentation here i'll link it in the comments as well on how to structure your product and your company pages like xml data wise i just wanted to share this application with you but basically you can see in here they have a sample structure you have your images folder and basically in there you want to put all of your pictures so if you name them specifically like header or logo they will be placed separately. So in this case, I will just pull up our own press kit. So here I've just pulled up our own press kit for Forge Industry. And if we can take them side by side, we can see here, I have a file named header.png. This will automatically become your header picture on the press kit. Then if you go down, you have two categories. You have banners and you have logo and icon or banners is basically images. So that is banner zero, feature zero, all of these will basically be grouped together in this one. And then everything that starts with logo, which you generally want a very high quality transparent picture can be added on here. And then yeah, here you can see, for example, we're also on Steam. This is a very nice widget as well. And that's basically it. Um, what you do then, of course, is yeah, you take the folder of the build that you had before and you put it on any web server. It can be Apache or whatever. What we've done, and if that's something that interests you, let us know in the comments and I can probably make a follow-up video, is we've actually set up a automatic build pipeline so that I can make a change to the press kit. I push it onto a GitLab repository and then automatically in about 10 to 15 minutes, a new version of press kit is built um, or of our sites basically and it's updated automatically as well. That's something that also Jamie has been working on. So if that's something that's interesting for you, let us know in the comments down below, as then we can see, maybe you should make a follow-up video of this. And that's about it. If you're new here, we make this kind of content for game developers every week or now two times every week is the new plan. So if that's something that interests you, be sure to subscribe as it's a win-win for both of us. And that's all I've had to say this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.